Hello crafty friends, I am back. I try again to record a video. Um, this is my third attempt to do this. Uh, my camera always stopped. Um, the first video I recorded 20 minutes and then it stopped. The second, uh, and I didn't realize that I was talking and talking and talking. Um, and then I uh, stood up and uh, saw that the screen was black, great, um, was so the camera wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, the second time I tried, I watched um, through the display and then after a minute, <laughs> stopped the camera. Great. So I try it again now. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, then <laughs> I will never <laughs> record a video again. Um, I thought... Um, we continue with um, using up our scraps and craft along together. Um, and this time I have uh, here, here I have all my scraps and I have made this. Um, I had a, a window in oh, a window envelope from from junk mail. Let me show you here. Um, this was from an what is it? Uh, from an insurance advertising so um, I have used this um, I cut the envelope here um, here uh, open because I want to use this as a journal page in, in a journal and um, let me show you this a little bit here I have collaged and Gessoed and ink, sewing, stamping, stenciling, and here's a spot for journaling, a little picture. Here's the back side, here's journal space, and that's the inside. And um, I thought I'm working at, on this TN size journal at the moment, or I have started it, and I thought I want to include it here as a journal page. Let's see. Let's see, see, see. Maybe here. So it's it's a very uh, unfinished at the moment, or maybe here. So you can see that's great. This is a great spot here for this uh, journal page and I can now go and, and stamp here something or put a picture here, collage here or so, anything I want. And I think this is a nice place, but I want to show you not how I uh, decorate now here this spot. I want to show you how I decorate um, or how I make this, um, how, how do we call it, envelope. A junk journal page, something like that. I don't know. Let's try. I hope that my camera really is recording. So here, this uh, junk mail envelope I cut here open. I want to collage the, the front and the back. Um, usually I like this, but uh, we want to use colors. We want to make it happy. So let me sit down and hopefully the camera doesn't show. Stop. I have my, my glue stick, um, my few leftover uh, book pages, and here all sorts of scraps. Um, as before, it doesn't matter what kind of scraps, just use up whatever you want. There's only one thing that I don't want to cover, this is the window. Or at least I don't want to cover it too much. The rest is fine to cover up. Um, one thing I would recommend is here, um, you have here this, this folding, this crease. I would not uh, cover it with cardstock. You can use cardstock leftovers here everywhere, but not here on this, this spine thingy, um, because I want to cover both sides and then it will, will, sorry, will become too thick. So. Let's start. I have here a book page, an old vintage book, old vintage book page, and I will glue this first just on top here of the of this part. And here, this edge 
I will go very close and a mini, mini, tiny bit over the border of this envelope, maybe. So, but not much. This is an eco dyed paper that was, it turned out, it, it didn't turn out eco dyed. <laughs> so, um, I use it. I used all the scraps that I have just left and I, uh, I don't care if it matches together or not. I will use probably gesso and I also will use colors, more colors on top. So I'm using just the glue stick, a cheap brand works for me. So now I go a little bit over this edge from the window, but I cover here this little space. So, and I, this here are jelly prints that I made and splashes on top, but uh, we can always change the color if we want. So use um, mop up pages and use uh, all your book pages. I let this now a little bit overhanging. I cut this later off. So use 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 your scraps, everything. So I'm fine if I have here a little bit uh, not the rectangular shape of the window. I like that, so it's not so super straight. I always have to make sure that I'm in frame and that the camera is recording. So, so. I hope everybody is doing well. I try to imagine how you craft along with me. <laughs> So in these days, we sit virtual together, only virtual, please. Don't go out if you don't have to, don't go out. If it's not necessary, stay at home. In my last video, I had to cry a little bit about the situation. Um, with this organi organization that has nothing to feed the poor. It was just too much for me. Oh man, eh? Today I feel a little bit better. So I'm okay. And I found some groceries, uh, groceries uh, yesterday. So <clears throat> it's totally madness that out there I stay at home I don't need to go out except maybe for to, to, to get the groceries but <clears throat> that's the only thing I do or if I have to go to the post office but I don't go anywhere else. Oh, I, I saw uh, in the news there are people uh, celebrating Corona parties. Madness. This is, I swear you, we are very short before we, uh, we, are, uh, we are locked down. And I swear you, this will come because of those idiots that um, our counselor, prayed and prayed, stay at home, stay at home. And what are these idiots doing? Corona parties. Are you kidding me? This, oh, this is so idiots, stupid people. And I'm sure because of those peoples, we will go on lockdown, maybe. In a few days or in a week or something like that the the government will uh, see if all what they have now shut down 
if that's enough, if it's not enough, and if the idiots are celebrating corona parties, they will lock us down. They will do more. And they are right to do the, to do that. I was really angry to see how they are celebrating parties in the park. A few hundred people. And they were laughing and dancing and... Ugh. <laughs> Sorry to say that, but... This is absolutely... They say stay at home. Why can't people follow this? Especially if it's dangerous and... Really? <laughs> so, is the camera recording? Yes. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to understand this. Not that just I can't understand this. This is more madness than this toilet paper odyssey. Really. Corona parties. Mm -hmm. <sighs> People. That's the reason why I stay most of the time at home. Sorry. <laughs> So we have now covered the first side up. Cover is recording. <laughs> Yet. So I cut now the excess off because if I don't do this now and I come mm, thread on my finger and I if I don't do cut the excess off and I, I cover this now with the scraps, I cannot see the the edge. It makes it more difficult to cut later the excess off. I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. oh, I would I wish I could see how what you all are what you all are crafting now. Please make videos or pictures and share them with us. So, um, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I have mentioned this. Um, we are no longer allowed to travel abroad. That was uh, not new, but they also have shut down the inner borders from Germany. That means um, between the federal. Blah, blah, between the federal states, the inner borders, they are also not closed. I, I swear you, the, lock, the lockdown, the, it will come. And they are right to do so, my opinion. It's not nice, uh, maybe necessary, because there are too many Germans who cannot listen like the ones that are celebrating corona parties and parks. The, this, um, most, I, th I think it's, it's the, uh, the, the teenager, maybe, I don't know if I saw adults, but um, because the, the schools, they are closed and they think, oh, uh, holidays, but these are not holidays. This is not fun. Don't know why the... Maybe they, they don't listen to their parents. Maybe the parents don't talk with them. I don't know. But uh, it is dangerous what they're, what they're doing. And not that they just infect themselves. They infect others and that's the point when my understanding ends they can infect themselves if they want but they give the virus maybe 
to another person. And that's not okay. It's not a cold. Yeah, and since people cannot listen, they will lock us down. I'm sure. That's okay. I have enough enough craft supplies to, to stay two months at home, at least two months. So, but, um, I wanted to say, tell you something nice. Oh, we had a very nice um, day today with sun and I live on a farm and I spent some time out on my terrace and I live with two bunnies. Bunnies. And um, um, I have built them in a really large enclosure. I have always to check if the camera is recording. Is it recording? Yes. I have built them a really large uh, enclosure that's about 1.5 yards by 4 yards. Rectangular. Uh, and uh, they have houses. There are more than one and, and all they need. And um, to protect them in winter from rain and wind, they have a they have a roof, absolutely. But uh, from the side, when the rain comes a little bit from the side, I protected them with this uh, what is it called? Called this netting uh, that is around uh, center cords to uh, avoid wind coming through. You get the idea what I want to say. <laughs> so I have this netting uh, completely around them and it um, keeps 85% of rain and wind away from them. So they are very safe. And uh, when it's in the weather in summer and um, in spring, I will open this um, when the situations are good. When the weather is good, then I open it. And today it was really a lovely day with sun, and they were jumping around there. And they, I think, they have enjoyed it that I have opened this uh, netting. And and then Maggie, that's the little girl, Maggie. Um, she she uh, after a while she laid in the sun on her straw. That was so cute, and she was sleeping there in the warm sun so that was really really good to see and I really enjoyed it that was so sweet happy doesn't like sun he's a man he don't like sun doesn't like the sun but she 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 enjoys it sometimes not not with its too hot but spring that's that's their sun spring and autumn and summer they go in the shadow they have enough um, space to go into the shadow so that this, when the sun is too hot they don't like it but especially after the winter and then in spring, they are hopping and jumping around, and I think it looks like they enjoy it. So, cameras recording, yes. So, I just randomly put your, um, the scraps on. done so, and I want to use this time not brushes but ink sprays um, 
красивенько. Oh, I wanted to thank you for all your sweet comments on my last video. Yeah, I was not sure if it's wanted to see such long video. Uh, one person said it's too long, but she always can fast forward it. So there must be uh, under this video there is a gear where you can fast forward um, a video if you think it's too long. But thank you for uh, for for this uh, information so that others if they don't want to watch it they now can fast forward it yeah, that was nice that she told me this and you all your all your sweet comments that was so sweet thank you so much i run out of scraps hello <laughs> no i have still enough in my box just having the box on the on the table, it's on the floor, right to this side. So I need one, one piece, maybe up here. Just laying here, perfectly on the ground. So. Perfect or what? <laughs> so let me see. Check. Camera's recording. Great. So this is now um, the base, the envelope, window envelope base for uh, the next step. I want to use colors, and I want to, in, as it, like in the last video, I want to push this bright colors a little bit into the background so I will use gesso again <clears throat> if you have no gesso that's okay you don't have to use it if you like it you don't have to use it do what you want and if you feel good without gesso perfect I love my gesso <laughs> that's the reason why I use it so, my little brother Jesso. <laughs> so, using it in my, my, my dry brush and just randomly go over this. It, um, it turns this a little bit into the background, not too much. I want to see later a little bit of it. Here yeah, at the window, you must be careful, of course. So. so I think for this side, it's already enough. Jesso uh, dries very quick. It's almost dry. And I don't know why. It's magic. <laughs> so, this is now the uh, first side. I want to put some gesso on this side. Um, if you have, I, I, did I mention this right now? I don't know. I can't remember. So, if you have no gesso, you. Uh, so first of all you have not to use gesso if you don't like it um, but you can also maybe use um, white acrylic paint and water this a little bit down but if you water something down the more water here on this I have used this glue stick the more water I use here on top the more uh, or the faster um, the scraps will come off again um, make sense I think so and um, if you want to use uh, watered down acrylic, 
um, I would suggest, uh, I would recommend um, that you seal the scraps before you put um, uh, the acrylic, the watered down acrylic on top. Here, this is this dries very quick, this gesso. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. So it's almost dry. Really quick. There are different brands out there and I have no, no, no idea which is now the best or I, I, I have the German brand. So that's the first step. I'm in a frame. Is this a camera recording? Okay, so this is now with gesso and now I need, I want to play with water and with colors so I have not to seal it. Um, I'm using again my liquid text that is what I have. You can use your Mod Podge or any other sealer or any other glue that seals. Um, I don't know what brands out there in the US. Uh, here at the window you must be very carefully, not too close. We don't want the smear smearing on this window. So and um, this has to dry before I can turn it around, but I was busy and I have prepared something so that I can move on to the next step very quickly. So at the window, please be careful. <laughs> uh, and, and I cannot, uh, or I should not, dry this now with a heating tool because otherwise this window will melt. Trust me. <laughs> I've made this arrow. So this is now a little bit, this will take a little bit longer to dry. I uh, let I lay this now aside to dry. If it's dry, um, I will turn it around and then uh, use the mud gel medium on the back side, but not yet now on camera. I have prepared something. Ta -da. <laughs> I made a couple of them. Uh, this is not with gesso and this is with gesso and sealed so we will play I play with this one um, you don't have to use gesso for example this one that's just an envelope color crazy without gesso underneath so this is uh, also yet without gesso so I have to work on this later but here this is this is collaged and with gesso and with mud medium on top to seal it make it a little bit faster mm. <laughs> mm. so I move this now out of the way because and a sip of coffee because I have here my spray box my messy spray box and I will lay this here in, in two. And I need a piece of paper. Because I don't want to spray on this on this window on this envelope. Uh, on this window. Oh. <laughs> Water. Here's my little spray bottle with water. And do we want a uh, metallic? So now here is my super not <laughs> super not uh, secret. 
I have here uh, ink sprays. These are textile colors that you can spray on, on cloth to decorate your um, cloth. So tech, very cheap textile colors uh, as ink sprays. Um, I have more colors, but uh, I think I go with them. And by the way, I'm not an expert in uh, color, uh, in color schemes, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, but I just do what I what I think. So what I feel, maybe not the purple. I don't feel purple. What color do we feel? I can't hear you. Maybe red. Hmm. Not sure. Let's try. Let's be retry. So, um, as I said, this is just uh, textile textile colors, and all I do is this. Um, I know that. Because I used now water, <clears throat> and that's the reason why you have to seal it. Otherwise, all this water will 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 go into this uh, into the scraps. And now I move it a little bit around. You must be careful that you don't run this colors now uh, on the window. I haven't found out uh, how I can make it better. Sorry. <laughs> but this is just um, what I do. There's a drop of ink. Maybe I have luck. So... I like it when the colors are. Ah, oh, no, I don't like this. But when the colors are here, so running. So you must be careful. Sometimes it comes here out on this uh, window. I don't want this, but sometimes it happens. And as you as you could see, I could. Uh, Use a paper towel and remove it. But I need one spritz of more water. Just to let the blue a little bit more running. So, that's now the first side. Yes, it is here wobbly. Um, don't know why. I have sealed it, but I'm okay with wrinkles. Um, I can uh, sand them down later if I want to. Or I just let them. I turn it now around. I don't wait until it's dry. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit too much. Whoa. It's okay. Happens. Just a little bit of color and water. Textile colors works for me, and they are really here, really, really cheap. I have paid for my textile colors for uh, six, six of those bottles uh, in different colors. I have paid twelve euro, no, ten euro, ten euro. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Now I need. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, if I have now here a little bit of color, it's okay. Not a problem. This is too much for my taste, so. And I don't throw this away. We can always use it later. So. That's okay. But I want some red in this corner. And this is just whatever the colors do. No rhyme or reason if it's right or not right. This is just playing. That's nothing, nothing else, just playing. So 
I'm now fine with that. And now this definitely has to dry. I cannot uh, move on at the moment with this. And so I will dry, let it dry and then I will be back. I am back. Hello, hello. Um, so um, the envelope is now dry and it looks like this. I like it. Maybe this is a little bit too much, but we can always cover it up. <laughs> That's not a problem at all, but I like it so far. And now um, I want to stamp and stencil first on it. And then I would see um, if I want to make a spot here for journaling or um, whatever I want to do. <laughs> so I think... This time I go this way. Um, the other one, there was the window on top. And I think this time I let the window here in the bottom to put something um, underneath. Okay, that's not cut into size, but you get the idea. Um, so, this is then my front. Um, I'm using again stays on Timber Brown because I like it. And this time I use here this... Um, Maybe not on my finger. Uh, flowers. I love this display. So I have here my little acrylic block. And I stamp um, randomly. So I think I will use more than um, one flower. I think. Not sure. No, I, I'm not good. In yes, it worked. <laughs> Lucky one. So I go with my stamping also a little bit over the edge, and I don't make them so super straight. So. And a few here on this side. Um, oh, I saw something. Um, you know Luisa Heinzel? Huh? <laughs> she had, oh, this was so funny. She had a Corona sale. And um, <laughs> it is a little bit sarcastic, but um, she had a sale in her shop. Uh, that all her digis were 60% off. Let me write it down. 60% off her digis. Not 16, 60. 60%. That was so crazy. And I had a little shopping in her shop. <laughs> and um, and now I have heard from, from her that she will, ex this, this sale, the sale, 60% off will, usually what would end today but she has extended her sale until sunday so if you need a corona shopping <laughs> uh 60 percent of her digis that's super generous uh i link her below so you can hop to her shop I really 60% and I had a lovely shopping for myself. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I want to clean the stand as good as it is possible because this was the one where I stamped with stays on and then I forgot to clean the stamp. So it's a little bit dirty, but it's all good. So, but I want another, do we want a leaf? Yes, I think we want a leaf. Oh. So. So, a leaf. Oh, that's very, very cute. Just a little bit here and there because I need some, some room for stenciling. Oh, the leaf 
is a really cute. So and in all directions of the page. Maybe here. Oh, that's pretty. So I plan to put here uh, a little uh, spot for journaling. Is my camera record? Oh gosh, I really have always to check if the camera is recording. So If you have no stems, maybe you can make your own stems um, or use other tools that you have at home. Maybe uh, you can use a toothbrush to, to make pattern and things like that. Or a sponge or whatever you can find at home. Um, maybe with a brush you can make splashes. I think splashes are also a good idea. I'm changing right now my mind. <laughs> so I think that's good for stamping now because um, I want to stencil also. Just clean quickly the... So here now you can see really the difference. This is immediately after using uh, stays on when I clean it and this was when I have forgotten the first time to clean this stamp. So, um, okay, stenciling. Blop, blop, blop. I'm using, what else do I have here? Um, nim, 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 nim. So, I'm using my tool here. Where's the ink pad? The right one, not this one. <laughs> no. Oh, here. Yeah. Have it. So, and I want flowers, more flowers. We want flowers. Flowers are happy. So, here's a spot where I want to stencil a little bit. I don't uh, have to stencil all over the place. Just, just a bit. you can see can you see there so and then I think I will go with um, some focal point uh, or images or so to decorate this page a little bit and um, spot to, to also to journal on this page if that makes sense I'm not sure how many I will cover up from the stenciling, but it's fun. <laughs> so, here maybe. it has not to be perfect and use what you have what you feel what you like there are no rules so I think I have it now yep I like it. So and now I folded this now in half. Here I need a little bit more glue. And 
I want to put something, something, something. What do we want? Here. Maybe here a little journal spot with them. Now it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> um, oh, I have here a little bit of um, coffee stand paper. Or, let me show, look in my box. I think I like this better here. Yes. So I just dress a little bit around. And I also was so quickly around. Just because I like it, you don't have to do this. This, this is not a, a, a law to sew. If you have no sewing machine, it's okay. You can just glue this now down. But I love sewing. I love my sewing machine. So I hope I don't make you seasick now. Let's see. Ah, great. My lovely dear sewing machine. I have to thread it again. Sorry, guys. I know there's an automatically threader, but That the camera isn't shaking. Not sure. So just 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 a straight stitch to give it a little bit extra. If that makes sense. So where's my glue? My glue is gone. Here's my glue. <laughs> so. And just here. Yes, hope. You can use now uh, any glue you want. I have this, I grabbed this. So, oh, and I have here a lovely journal spot. I could not decorate here all over the place. Um, and maybe I will do this. <laughs> um, but yet I want, here's a picture. So I have here pre-made some cool pictures that's for us oh this is okay decision made <laughs> that's that was fast now so that's so pretty Takes a little bit with the wet glue to dry, but it's okay. So, do I want here? I, I press this a little bit down because it takes a little while to, uh, until the glue grab uh, the surface. So, but I think we need here something, right? Uh, how about a butterfly? So, here's my ephemera holder. Or label. Or oh. oh, this tea card. Hmm. 
maybe. I'm not sure. I think I like this better. Just, just because. But I'm not sure if I want something underneath. I think so. So I need to grab a book page. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So, book page. I'm back in a second. So, yeah, yeah. this this is old German. It's out of a book from 1924, I believe. So, super vintage, but gorgeous. Yes, I think that's lovely. And I'm using the glue stick now because I think it's pretty to sew around. And then I don't want to ruin the sewing machine. So I carefully tear it now. This is definitely, this is a faux tea card that I have printed and distressed and I want to quickly sew around just with a straight stitch. Just because. Great. And just a little bit of distressing from the edge. Check is recording. So and I think here, there, this is there, very cute. <laughs> so now and keep it in place please so now I have it <laughs> so show you that's cute but I also want here something and I think I think another journal spot, but not the same. But here, we need here something. This is so pretty. Do I have another pretty one? That's a cute one. But I think... Oh, I have an idea. I will make here a little journal spot and put here a little botanical. Good decision. Decision made. So. Yep. Um, I will sew around. Just, just messy so around and a little bit of distress in not much doesn't need really much just just because so so.
and this here oh wrong direction but maybe 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 this is fine let me see if I have something boy that's great thankful for what I wanted there decision made <clears throat> So it's not uh, all in the center. I I don't need all in one spot. So this is now a little bit. Um, so it is not here. I cannot explain. Um, I don't like to put the second piece here on the same height. I I put it uh, a little bit down. <laughs> So on this label, this is a stamp that I have. It says thankful for. I'm uh, wondering if I want to sew around. Oh dear. On and over. We try. <laughs> it's well, maybe not the best idea, but we try. I have to sew now very slow because it's an oval. This is really not easy. So it's not straight, so <laughs> it is any, but a junk journal. I don't like it. Yes, I will use this because this is a little bit more cardstock. Place it here. Am I afraid? Yes. So, look. Thankful for. And then here we need to do here something. Oh, oh. I found this right now. That's, that's lovely. I will use this. And um, so we have botanical, botanical, butterfly. And let's see. I like it. But it's, uh, I like it, but it's maybe a little bit too much. Um, Let's see what I can, what I like in my family thingy. So I want to use this on the on the back side. It has not to be to cover. The whole thing that I think and I was so around I like it that's all do what you like Not well sewn, but, but but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, by the way, if you have not a sewing machine, you can make faux stitching. Just use a pen or pencil, and then this is faux stitching. You can draw stitching. That's that's possible. So. 
I have this. I want this and I want mm, something, something, something. Oh, I like that. Decision made. <laughs> Now I just have to glue it down and then I'm finished. Ah, oh, that I like that. Ah, oh, I really do. <laughs> And this here a little bit on this there or there. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So uh, I try to think about more projects if you want them. Um, uh, I can also show how I bind my books, if you want to see that, I don't know. So, and I tell you now what is on this little thingy here. It's a house saying, I had the step, uh, it says we must always have old memories and young hopes. Not that bad. <laughs> so. Stamping and this is now our finished thingy here envelope journal page whatever I like it and this will look like I, I fold this now just in, in half to show you so Imagine that you have here something underneath maybe a picture or drawing you, oh yeah, you can also now doodle doodle on top of, of these things here if you wanted to. I'm not good in doodling, so I let it. <laughs> um, let me move this out of the way. So, um, let me grab something, something, something. Maybe here. So I try to find a spot. I think it's not made for this journal, but I try. I try to find something. Nope. Nope. Maybe. So this was now my project for today. Thinking about more. No, that's maybe not. Oh, oh! <laughs> Let me see. That's a good spot, right? You have here this yellow. You have here this little yellow, and you can see this page here. I think I like it. And you have here this yellow and flowers, and here again with here. And you can see here this oh, perfect spot. <laughs> so I let this exactly at this place. It's done. I love it. So you can journal here. You can journal here. And there. And here again. What a luck yellow flower and yellow flower and this here this is um let me show you this is a vintage book page this is it has a, has a uh, frame and there's a little bit of purple here's a little bit of purple that was now a lucky win okay guys 
I hope you like this project. Um, I hope you try it. Um, I hope to see you soon. Stay safe, stay at home and check out 60% sale of uh, all digitals from Luisa Einzel. Crazy. <laughs> so I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.